watching Vecta Maestros, another edition of the Art Life. And uh, we're going to discuss tablets <clears throat> because uh, Microsoft just came out with another Surface Pro this year. And uh, I'm two years behind now. Let's see, I think I am two years behind when it comes to the tablet that I have. And um, a lot of artists are asking whether or not they need to upgrade. Some of them are ready to upgrade. If you've been waiting around for the next Surface, then you, you're good to go. Just go ahead and get it. If you have the money for it, go ahead and get it. You want 8 gigs of RAM. You want the i7 um, processor and at least uh, 256 gigs of hard drive. And now it's called the uh, SSD. And uh, but if your um, budget is your concern, then there's a few things to consider, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I'm just posting this around the internet, and we're going to go ahead and get started, so I can get my train of thought together. All right, so. <clears throat> Let's see. So what's the difference between these tablets and so on? So let me talk about um, a few things and about why I use them. And uh, so that's where we're going to start off, where why myself as DTM are as using these uh, Surface tablets, the Wacom, uh, Bamboo, I have a Cintiq up here, and, uh, and so on. And uh, number one is, oh, I like love to draw, right? I like to draw. That's my theme. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm doing. I like to draw. I draw all the time. I draw sketchbooks. I make my own sketchbooks. And, uh, and I enjoy the whole creative process. So one thing is to consider is that um, the creative aspect of it. So if you're being creative and you just want to draw and have fun, that's great. Um, then try out whatever you want. Just go ahead and get out there and get what you can. And um, and that's cool, but as I've gotten further in my art career and uh, having a family, I can't just afford to buy whatever I want. Uh, I have to. Um, there has to be a purpose for what I'm, why I get what I get, and why I have it, and uh, and that's where the purpose comes into play. And for me, it's uh, the purpose has more to do with what am I uh, gonna use it for. And as a professional artist, I have to be able to produce professional artwork for my clients and uh, in whatever devices I use and whatever uh, um, um, tools I'm using, hardware, software, etc. And if it doesn't make sense for me to make money with it, then I'm really not going to use it at, uh, or, or be interested in having it, right? So, um, so that's number one. So when artists ask me, Hey, what's better, the iPad Pro, Surface Pro, <clears throat> what do you like about each, etc.? It comes down to what are you using it for? What do you want? What are you trying to get? And uh, where are you headed with it? So me, I'm a professional artist. I need to be able to draw. I need to be able to create artwork and then finish it in a professional manner for a client. So right now, uh, uh, I have some drawings to finish. I just finished a couple of book covers, a um, couple of CD covers. And uh, I'm working on another book cover, uh, and uh, and so drawing is fundamental in these devices. But when you need to finish the artwork first, and uh, when you, when you need to finish the artwork in the end, and then get it out there to the client, then that's gonna bring in a, another set of issues that you're gonna have to deal with in order to produce that work. And so I'm doing this video one year later after I've been uh, playing and working on the Surface Pro 4 and uh, I've had my hands on a couple of iPad Pros for fun and uh, and then today Facebook showed me my memory of one year ago and do I want to share it again I was like you know what it's time to go ahead and do another video because I do them I used to do videos all the time and this is something that I want to mention to most working artists or any artist any up and coming artist is that on uh, social media you want to share a bit of yourself every now and then and the more you do it and video is a great resource Facebook live is a great resource the more you do it the better your clients can see you the better 
uh, people recognize your talent and then you'll be at this point where I am right now where I'm too busy to even do some videos as much as I ha used to. And I'm not the only one. There's a bunch of other art, uh, designers and artists out there on Facebook that I know very well who are um, very busy to even do the videos that we once did at the beginning of this year. We were constantly online. So, um, alright. <clears throat> and it just so happens that I'm also testing a couple of webcams that I just got and um, and uh, let's go. So DTM, what's going on here? All right, so number one purpose. What are you using it for? So let's say we're doing creative stuff and you're learning uh, your digital, getting yourself digitally. Um, it's starting into the step of digital artwork and see what's going on and how it feels for you. So what happened with me, with the first thing I did when I first started on uh, Digital World, I was using this tablet right here. This is the Bamboo. Uh, they have the Intuos line. The bamboo was a little step down. It was still two hundred dollars a few years ago. It's made by Wacom, and it has its uh, own pen. And uh, and you use it like you would a mouse, right? And uh, if you have a mouse and you move the mouse around and you look at the but the screen, you click and move and so on, it shows up on the screen. And that's your pointer. In this instance, this is your mouse, and wherever you click on on the screen, it will reflect exactly on. Wherever you click on here on this tablet, it will reflect exactly on the screen. So that's uh that's how this works, and it's awesome. I uh, I enjoy it. I have a few of these. I kind of well, I, I do collect electronics, and I have a, a an addiction problem. But I do have a couple of these because they work work really great. I have a couple for to for, to have on the go, and one that I have that's pretty big, and it's and uh, is able to move across two screens. I have two screens up here you can't see them and um, and so wherever I'm on one side it's on one screen whenever I move to the other side I'm on the other screen and uh, and so that was the beginning of my digital art life I wanted to do digital artwork because that's what professionals are out there doing and uh, and it and when it comes to workflow it uh, cuts back on the steps you go from drawing on paper let me get my sketchbook You go from drawing on paper and getting your ideas out to then um, to then uh, jumping on to jumping straight on digital without having to draw on paper, scan it in, uh, get it on the screen, Photoshop, etc. You kind of just jump right on Photoshop and um, uh, using a tablet, and you can go ahead and get your digital artwork out. So that was my beginning. And if anybody is concerned about cost, because it's a, we live in a capitalistic society so you have to consider that then I suggest you go ahead and get a bamboo tablet you have to get used to that digital the next step that I took was um, I got a uh, note Samsung Note 10 and uh, they don't make these anymore that last year was 2014 this is a 2014 edition and it's awesome What's, what I realized about uh, these uh, devices because was that I was able to get a uh, iPad uh, one time, and I started buying pens to draw on the iPad. So the, not this particular iPad, but it was a few iPads ago. So I started buying pens so I can use it on the iPad and I can draw better, right? So I had these uh, pens. I started buying pens, and they did not work well enough for me to feel like I'm doing a decent job of drawing on digitally. And that's because when manufacturers make a tablet and then you have third parties that make a, a, a stylus, they're not going to be uh, exactly what you want. It's going to be a little lag. There's going to be little problems. There's going to be little things that you're not going to be happy with. And I wasn't happy. So I bought all these between $60 and $100 when they were brand new. I have several. I have the Adonit. I have... Um, the, uh, the Jot Touch, the these are two different Jot Touches, which is crazy. I didn't even realize that. Uh, Donit uh, Jot Pro, the Noda, which was a Kickstarter campaign, and then I have another one back here, and I just got this one. This one works really well, actually. I do like this one. And this is the Adonit Jot Script. 
And I've seen other artists with um, bamboos. So the bamboo line was really nice. That worked really well. Um, in any case, you're having a third party pen working with a tablet that are totally unrelated. So when the note was out, I knew that this was what I wanted because the note comes with its own pen and it responds immediately to uh, how it should be. And so, um, so let me see if I can turn some of this brightness down so we can see the screen. So um, <clears throat> with this pen, let me open um, the S note. Sure, why not? It reacts really fast. <clears throat> it um, it gives me pressure, and uh, and I'm and I'm able to draw right. Well, when I when I got this uh, Samsung Note, I also realized that Wacom made was it Wacom? Yep, Wacom made a pen that would uh, replace this little flimsy little pen. As you can see, in my hand it does have a little chunky fingers, so I need to be able to draw and need a bigger stylus to draw with. So let me find a good. Um, of course, let's go with Adobe Sketch. Um, and so. So, so I went and bought bamboo, uh, bam, a Wacom pen. It's called the Bamboo uh, Pixel. What is it called? Let me see. Wacom Bamboo Create. And so what it is, 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 is the same technology that's in the Samsung Note 10 pen. And this is the same pen that's used in the Samsung Note um, cell phone. So if you have a Note 4 or 5 and... Uh, Four or five, yeah, because they didn't make the six. They jump. So then, this is the same. It would work the same way as this one. So now, I'm using this pen instead of that one to draw, and it supports pressure. Okay, come on. And so I can draw strong and light. <clears throat> and it's really smooth, really clean. I like it. I enjoy it, and this was fun. So now, why I'm talking about the Samsung Note Four because I mean the Samsung Note Ten because at that time, it was four or five hundred dollars when it first came out. The price point went down, and I was able to get one for like three hundred dollars. So right now, you can probably it's hard to find these now, and anybody who has one is not gonna let it go. Um, they're very good machines, but Samsung still makes one. It's called the uh, Tab S, something like that, and they come with a pen. So quarters are like eight hundred dollars now, and. Uh, but they're very good machines. The, the fact is that it's a machine that comes with a pen, so it responds perfectly, right? Well, that's, um, that's, a, that's what you're looking for when you're buying a tablet. No matter how cheap it is, does it come with a pen or does the company make a pen? I had one time bought a Dell Venue 8. The Dell Venue 8. And I'm not going to turn it on. It runs Windows 10 right now. And I need a pen for this. There's a pen, a very particular pen, made by Dell, that um, you can draw on this. So those are the kind of tablets you want. The ones that come with a pen, or there are some on the market that you can use to draw with. And uh, and so um, no matter how cheap it is, they work very. They, if they come with a pen, they work well. In this case, this is an Android. And so when you're talking about what's the purpose here, what's your pref, what, what are you gonna do with this? It's gonna be art. You're gonna draw art. You're gonna um, draw things and experiment and have fun. And um, and you have to stick with Android when it comes to the Samsung line, right? They do Android. Samsung did make a um, Galaxy tablet that runs Windows, so I'm interested in that. And uh, forget the exact model number, but it's not cheap. In any case, so you have um, Android. And Android, what I like to use. And um, and right now, in all these machines supported is Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch. So I was in Adobe Sketch a second ago. That's Adobe Sketch. And uh, and what happens with Adobe Sketch is it's super bright in here. Um, is that uh, maybe I can turn this off, and make it better. And so what happens with Adobe Sketch is it's not better. Um, you can export to Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. What happens when Adobe Draw is that when you export to Illustrator, it's already a vector file. So that's great. You know, that's really good because now 
you're already halfway there in your workflow from going to a, from a sketch to a drawing to then a digital file. And so when you're drawing directly on the screen and then exporting to Illustrator and you already have vectors, then uh, that's a, a, you're shortening your workflow, which is the purpose when you're getting paid for artwork. You don't, you want to have a consistent and um, workflow that gets you across the steps um, with minimum hiccups and make it speedy so that you can focus on the artwork. Alright, so there's that. This is the Samsung Note 10. So I still have it. I enjoy it. I um, don't use it as much as I want to. It's a little slow because it's a little old. and uh, But it's still a great machine. So if you get a Samsung Tab S, go ahead and get it. It's really cool. Um, I, I like... Uh, I like my little tablet and I'm going to keep it along with the, the Dell. I like these little tablets. They're really cool. All right. So then as my experience grew, I was able to get a couple years ago, two, three years ago, I got the Surface Pro 3. So this is the 4 right here. But I got the 3 and um, at that time, Photoshop and Illustrator were not optimized for Surface. And so my preference... And my purpose is really uh, finished artwork. The artwork that I can finish, artwork that I can produce professionally for my clients. And, uh, and I like when Windows came out with the Surface because now you're drawing on the screen. And uh, they made the pen to go with it. All right. And, uh, and just the software was catching up. So the software was still in progress. So you would open Photoshop and then... Um, and uh, things were not sized right because it uh, the Adobe was not um, catching up to the hardware that Microsoft was producing. So that was during the Photoshop, the Surface Pro 3 time period. And, uh, and I was having a little trouble adjusting to that and figuring out how my workflow would go. No problem. As that was happening, the Apple came out with the iPad, iPad Pro. And when it came out with the iPad Pro, a lot of us artists were happy. We're really uh, happy that finally um, uh, Apple had created that right mix of a pen. And I'm, right now I uh, connected the Apple Pencil to the iPad Pro so I can pair it. I think it's done. There it goes. Ooh, 2%. So I need to charge it up a little bit. And so what happened was... When they made the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro, now you can draw directly on the screen of the iPad, which has always been a good machine. But again, it's still, when it comes to preference and purpose, it is still falls short because, yes, you do have Adobe Draw. You still have Adobe Sketch. A lot of artists like to draw with um, Sketchbook Pro, Graphic, Procreate, even Medibang is out there, and that's free on most platforms. Medibang, check it out, Medibang Paint. But it's still, you have to go from this platform and this drawing to export it out to Photoshop or Illustrator to then finish the job. And, uh, and when you're thinking about the workflow and the purpose on what you're going to create the artwork, you have to think about how many steps it's going to take you. What are you able to move from one thing to the next? How does that uh, fit? And do you have all this hardware? And I'm going to get to the end of my conclusion and um, of what works for me. So you, so you have to take these things in consideration. So, But it's still a good machine. I do like the iPad. I have a couple of these. Um, I enjoy drawing on them. Let's go to open Adobe Sketch here. I like sketching out ideas, sketching out drawings. And I think I was doing this drawing. Let's see if we can see that. Oof. I can't see it for nothing. There we go, a little bit right there. Um, I was doing that, this drawing with this stylus just to play around but I have the Apple Pencil and I can draw what I want and it responds to pressure it responds to um, speed and so on and that's really great so in my workflow when I was using the iPad Pro I was drawing on Adobe Draw and in Adobe Illustrator Draw you, you do your drawings and then you export to Illustrator. And here's a drawing for my homeboy, Mr. E, the motivator. And, uh, and I did the drawing. And um, 
here in Adobe Draw and then I export it from here to Illustrator and then I finish the project, right? So that's always cool. Um, you, if you have the iPad Pro, you still need a computer. That's what happens with this workflow that you cannot run full Adobe software on the iPad. <clears throat> you cannot run full Adobe software on the Samsung. And that's where it falls a little bit short. But it's still fun, and if your purpose is to have fun and enjoy yourself, then go for it. Yeah, this is a cool little machine to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. When the Surface Pro 4 came out, and I think this came out two years ago, 2015, I got this in uh, this one uh, last year, 2016. This is a Surface Pro 4. When the Surface Pro 4 came out, by then Adobe was catching up and making Photoshop and Illustrator run real smooth on the Surface Pro and not only that they also gave you the option of an Illustrator anyways of using touch so that when you're drawing an Illustrator you can um, use a different workspace and if you do if you, if you know anything about Illustrator is that uh, it's all about the pen tool layers and shapes and paths and um, and everything became so much better once uh, the Creative Cloud caught up to what the Surface Pro 4 can do. And uh, and so here, let's see, let's start a new. And uh, and then here, so this is the regular uh, menu. And then here we can change it to touch. And when you change it to touch. The menu is stripped back. There's an undo button and a few other things that are really great when it comes to um, Adobe Illustrator on Windows 10. And that's where the big benefit of the Surface Pro 4 comes for those who are working artists, for those of us who our purpose is to produce final artwork for our clients is now we have a full computer and this one tablet. Yes, there are drawing apps that are uh, available on uh, Windows uh, 10. Let's get rid of this. Come on, create a cloud. Get them away. Uh, once the Surface Pro 4 came out, um, um, I was aware, I became aware of this app called Sketchable. So in Sketchable, you can draw, you can sketch, you can do all types of things, and it responds to pressure so that I can uh, um, draw lightly or draw uh, just press a little harder and get a thicker line and um, and so a lot of times when I'm doing my professional artwork I, I will use Sketchable to design and draw the main idea once the client says yes I'll open the same file in Illustrator and get to work right in the same machine and when I'm having fun and just enjoying myself I use Sketchable as a drawing app um, yesterday we were at Apache Cafe doing a drawing competition and we used Sketchable to um, to compete and so um, this is where the purpose comes very much into play and your budget because you have a full computer and a drawing tablet all in one place and let me get this keyboard right here Unfortunately, it gets a little pricey because um, Microsoft decided to bundle things separately. So here is the um, um, Surface Pro. It stands up like a laptop. It has a pen. And you can attach a keyboard and get to work you um you can jump go back and forth between your drawing and then final work and do finished work and you have Adobe Illustrator open and you're doing you know so on you attach a keyboard you have a USB port right here you can attach peripherals you can attach a hub you have um, a um, external monitor port here you, all you need is a dongle, same dongle that you use for a Mac, and then of course that's your power right here. Not only that, you can attach, a, you can uh, add a uh, micro SD card and expand its memory. And so 
all of this just happens all in one machine whereas with the iPad Pro you have the iPad Pro and then you need your laptop with the Samsung Note or Samsung Tabs you have Android so you don't finish artwork in these machines there are some artists who may say different but for my purpose and for the things that I do and how I need to create the work that I do I need to finish that off on a proper computer and so the big benefit of the surface is that it's a drawing tablet and a proper computer and that's reflected in this price right so this machine is the this one itself is the 16 gigs of RAM i7 500 gigabytes of a solid state drive so it's a couple thousand dollars I uh, have another one and that one is the 8 gigabytes of RAM and I think I listed that uh, on the description of this video and there's a link so that one's fifteen hundred dollars yes it's pricey right but if you were to buy the iPad Pro and a computer to get that's that that's, that comes out to the same price as this uh, there's a couple apps that you can connect to your Mac and uh, that you connect your Mac and your iPad Pro through a cord and then you'll be able to draw on your iPad Pro with uh, Photoshop or Illustrator running off of the Mac. That's great, but that's still two machines. Whereas here, it's all one. So, that's where my purpose comes into play. That's how my workflow fits very well with this machine because that will draw right on the screen, then jump into Photoshop or Illustrator and finish the work. Um, the preference for me is having a full computer that can run Creator Cloud. And uh, you can't beat this. This is the one I like. This is uh, what the Surface Pro can do. So now the, the last thing is that it was a new Surface Pro that came out this year. Last year we had the Surface Book uh, and the Surface Laptop. And this year we had the Surface Pro. It's, it's the next step up from the four. It's just called Surface Pro. And a new Surface Pen. And, uh, and so if you're jumping in and you have the budget for it you can buy the new ones uh, or you can go ahead and find the Surface Pro 4 at a better pricing now because uh, the it's the last edition than was uh, than the new this year and from what I have experienced at the Microsoft Store it's not a big jump some artists are saying that it's great that now that the uh, Surface Pan supports tilt when you draw sideways it draws it draws in a thicker line kind of like what that Apple Pencil used to, does and that's cool but it's not a big deal also the pressure points of pressure went from 1000 to 4000 who can tell that difference it's, uh, it's up to you and how well you draw and how uh, much um, how familiar you are with it that then that comes into play but if you really want something that you can jump into and uh, get a feel for and learn then I don't see anything wrong with getting the Surface Pro 4 so that's a few things that I wanted to cover a whole year later um, I wanted to mention the Samsung Note, the iPad Pro, the Surface Pro 4 the Bamboo Create Pen Sketchable app is amazing if you have a Windows 10 machine it is supported on all Windows 10 um, tablets and you can draw around on the screen and it's really cool. It has very basic tools, which is awesome because when you're drawing with Photoshop, sometimes it gets a little bit crazy. Um, and so that's one of the things that I wanted to describe in this video. I want you to tell me what you think, what you like, what have you tried, and uh, what works for you. I get a lot of emails and messages of artists asking me what works for them. And, uh, and I'm always going to cover three things. Number one, how much money do you have? If you have a lot of money, buy what you want. I have a Cintiq right here. You can barely see the, the corner of it. So if you can afford a Wacom Cintiq, uh, Wacom um, um, Companion and so on, fine. Go get it. But if your purpose is just to have fun, then it's kind of a bit overkill. If your purpose is to produce finished artwork for your clients, then great. Then you want a more full machine if you're purpose is to have fun and enjoy the creative process then go ahead and get you something that is going to help you get there 
Um, and for me, um, the price, the preference, and the purpose are the things that you want to pay attention to. All right, that's all I have for now. I want to tell you to go ahead and follow us at Vector Maestros on YouTube and Instagram, Twitter, etc. We have a lot of tutorials. I do a lot of digital drawing. And you can follow me at Delta Tango Mike for all my artwork and uh, skills. Uh, we have a uh, free meetup once a month at 10 a.m., the second Saturday of the month at General Assembly. You don't want to miss out on that. I'm going to add the link to where you can find the calendar on that is artistking.org. And then at 12 o'clock, we have the free meetup where we discuss the business of art. And uh, I'll have some more videos on that about what it takes to be prepared for this if you want to be a professional artist. And to me, all these devices, they are here to support my talent and the work that I create. I am um, games and consuming content is cool. But I have to have a purpose for it in order to have it, to keep it in my list of tools and, uh, and make a living with my art. All right, this is DTM. Talk to you all later. If you have any questions, do say so. Please ask them. I'm going to check real quick and uh, see if we had anybody say something. And if not, we're just going to keep it rolling. See y'all later this weekend. Come on through. The homeboy, um, the Matt Penciler, is going to be teaching a class this weekend at uh, 10 a.m. on um, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. And it's going to have um, some hands-on how to, fundamentals on how to draw hands and feet and using brushes in Photoshop. So come on through. All right, y'all. This is DTM. Talk to y'all later. I'm party two party. Come on through to the meetings of media, please stick Yeah, you gotta make it easy, that's hard to say. Hey, bro. Alright. TM. See ya later. Bye.